Today is October 24th, 2024. Last month it was my birthday and I turned 24. In comparison to last year or any other year, this year it wasn't so special. I even forgot that it was my birthday. I feel exactly the same and nothing changed. But there are things that I learned in my 24 years of life and I want to share them with you today. This is going to be a different type of video. It might be a bit cheesy, but here we go. Time management. Being able to manage your own time is very good. Time is such an excellent resource and when you know how to use it, you're amazing. <laughs> you can do things that are good for you and do things that are productive so you should know how to manage your time go at your own pace take your time with things i always used to feel like i had to do what everybody else was doing it kind of felt like a competition but then i realized i don't need to do that i don't need to follow the trends and do what everybody else is doing i'm gonna do my own thing in my own time i hope that made sense this one's quite obvious but taking care of yourself eating well staying hydrated eating your veggies <laughs> you get the message then we've got taking care of the space around you and also the people around you maybe this is just me but whenever i'm not taking care of my room it's messy and for me having a messy room leads to also being messy and not being organized so that's why I take care of my room and always keep everything neat so I can always stay organized and motivated and consistent taking care of the people around you should be obvious if you ever notice that anybody's struggling never ignore it next cycling there's not much to say. I just love it. Then the next one, I think it's quite important too. Long lasting over short term. I got to think of good examples. Uh, let's say I'd rather take my time and do something that's going to have long term effects rather than take less time and do something that will have a shorter impact. Then customize things and make them your own. The room I'm in right now used to be a blank canvas, but now it has character because I've customized it and made it my own. Now the next one is in respect to others. You should always put yourself first, but remember in respect to others. It doesn't mean to be selfish it just means don't always do something for someone else if you don't want to do stuff you enjoy rather than what you think someone else will enjoy i'm kind of worried some of these things don't make sense i really hope i said things right this one's very important work hard to achieve what you want because nobody else will and more importantly no one's gonna do it the way you're gonna do it this one's fundamental <laughs> it's not important it's fundamental <laughs> know how to cook it's such an amazing skill to have ever since i started to cook i've saved so much money i've been a lot healthier and had some delicious food <laughs> and while we're on that learn to save money where you can. It might be a bit hypocritical here. If you can see in the background, I have lots of figurines, but I still save money where I can. I've made a video last year about this called minimalism, that I don't really need all these things. And how do I know this? Because I know my priorities. And that's one thing you should know as well. Always know what's important to you. And yeah, this one's another obvious one. Whatever you want to be in life, be kind, stay positive. And in most situations, there is always a bright side. Surround yourself with good people, people that are like-minded. That's another thing I've learned. Whatever you do, always try to do it to the best of your ability. Even if it's the simplest task ever. I always aim to do the best I can at it, especially if it's a new activity, something I've never done before. The next one is rest is important. There are times I don't get enough sleep and it really affects my day. Sure, sleeping less can lead to being more productive, but a good night's sleep is just as good. Capture memories with a new Google Pixel 8. <laughs> this is probably not for everyone, but for me, capturing memories is really important. I have been filming myself ever since I was like eight years old and just taking pictures of everything. I've captured so many moments and I don't regret it because because at any time, I can always look back, go back in time and see what I was doing. I wonder what I was doing on this very day 10 years ago. Uh, next, travel and do new things. The world is huge and I haven't visited that many places, but when I do, I love it. As for trying new things, I always try to do that because that means a new experience that I will always remember. This next one is kind of more serious. Don't be afraid to show your emotions. This is something I used to do as well and I really strongly stand against it because emotions are natural. They make you human and you should not hide them. And now for something less serious, be creative, do what you want to do and follow your dreams. And that can be anything. Now, a next one is something I want to improve on each year of my life. The internet and technology isn't everything. I know it seems like a strange thing to say coming from me. I literally live on the internet. However, a few years ago I did an experiment and I stayed off social media for two whole weeks and I really enjoyed it. A year later I stayed off the internet for a whole two months. I enjoyed it even more. I haven't been able to do it since then but if I could I would. Something I was really struggling with was letting go of certain apps which would lead me to always be on this phone, this little thing and be doom scrolling and that was TikTok. I think it's been three months now that I've deleted TikTok off my phone. I feel so much better, so much more productive. And actually this whole year, I've spent more time outside than inside. And really, it's much better than always staring at a screen. The term touch grass is accurate. And year by year, I will be limiting my time on the internet and just generally using technology. I'll try. We've got a few more now. The next one is finish what you started. And see you later. <laughs> I'm kidding. By this, I mean, if you start a task, like for me this year, gardening or housework, if I started a task like that, I will finish it. If I start working on a project I'm really passionate about, I will finish it because then I will will reach a goal and be satisfied.
satisfied. And now for number 24 of the 24 things that I learned is don't let age define you. In my opinion, I will be doing this hobby that I started at 10 years old. Even when I'm 50, even when I'm old, I still want to make these silly videos and I will never let age define me. And now for a bonus one, which is something I always say and will always stand by, change is good. Without changing my life, I never would have done new things. I never would have started making YouTube videos and I never would have enjoyed my life. But yeah, these were 24 or 25 things I learned over my 24 years of living. <laughs> Let me know what you've learned over the years. I'll be sure to read some comments. Thanks for watching. I wonder what I was doing on this very day 10 years ago. Hi. <laughs> cool.